So, now we want to see some kind of gluing that uh, gluing means that locally my objects are affine space, but globally they are not affine, they are far from affine. And the typical the, the first example is projective space. One example we saw that uh, a 2 minus 0, locally of course, it is an open subset in a n. So, so it is look locally looks like a affine space, but now in we will see another example which is uh, projective variety which is little different, where functions are also very different. The, um, uh, so, this is a new definition projective space. I will come to projective variety later, first let us uh, try to give a definition. So, again like I assume always assume k is algebraically closed field. <coughs> so, we consider p n k. So, this p n k is we consider set of all lines on n plus 1 k with some equivalence. So, as a set, set theoretically I am first defining the equivalence relation say passing through the origin. So, origin. So, when I say a n plus 1 k, there is no origin, but I am fixed. So, I am identifying with uh, k n plus 1. Hmm. No, no, lines passing through origin. Hmm. <coughs> so, 0 is the when I write k n plus 1 means there is a 0, but a n plus 1 k, it says it does not have 0, that it is a affine space. Yeah, you can identify with k n plus. <coughs> For example, if I take a line does not pass through origin, that also I can think as a a 1 k as a affine variety, affine variety, but that is not the line passing through that does not contain 0. So, to, but you can translate it to uh, line passing through 0. So, an equivalence relation is that if I take two lines L1, I say L1 is equivalent to L2. If L1, I can write it as lambda times L2, where lambda is some scalar, of course, some non zero scalar. K star means K minus 0. Now, the point is that on this set, I want to give a this is like my. Uh, what will I say? Uh, my experiment ground. This is a this is a ground. This is a space which is a very important space. This is called projective space. This is called projective. This this uh, this set is called projective space. And most geometry, uh, the algebraic geometry happens here. Whenever you want to try try to understand some theorem or something, so mostly the algebraic geometry is done on projective spaces, projective variety or projective spaces, where things are. Uh, so when you of course you study affine algebraic geometry, but that it becomes more commutative algebra. But uh, when you study projective space or geometry of projective varieties, I'll define what is a projective variety. It becomes more. Uh, it becomes more rich. You can do many things. You can. There are many theorems. Most theorems in algebraic geometry holds for projective varieties because they are. It gives you some extra um, which one, one can study such uh, objects. But again, not everything is projective geometry. You have some affine algebraic geometry, which is more like commutative algebra. You can translate into a commutative algebra question. Somebody was asking me in last class or there that whether everything is commutative algebra. I know not everything is commutative algebra. You will see some examples here. Here, commutative algebra fails. It is not because everything is a local study, but local does not mean global. 
locally it looks like uh, um, uh, commutative algebra, but local does not always implies global statement, right? Then here it's something more. You need homological algebra and more sophisticated techniques to study such uh, objects. Hmm. So that's why sheaf theory comes. Because sheaf theory, you see, when you do sheaf theory, sheaf theory is a local. Uh, so local, it gives a local information. Hmm. Okay, so le, so okay, I'll just uh, briefly introduce uh, the coordinate function, and then probably I'll stop. Uh, next class, I'll define the topology. On, okay, so the so see. So it is after all coming something from a n plus one k. So you have this uh, coordinate function, say, so t naught t n, right? There are n plus one variables. So you have this uh, t naught t one t n plus one. Uh, sorry, t t naught t one t t naught t one up to t n n plus one variables, but Problem is that this will not, this ti is are not functions on pn, right? Because, for example, uh, this uh, this ti's are not generally coordinates. When you choose some coordinate, they are functions, right? That's how you construct function. When you call, if you remember that, core this coordinates gives you functions, and all polynomial or all functions are. You got some, some polynomial in these coordinates, but these ti's are no longer a function on p and k because a point, for example, 0, 1, 0, and 0, say lambda 0. So, this is a ti part, this both goes to the same point. But if you just take the projection T i map, then one goes to one, another one goes to lambda, but they are they are equivalent. <coughs> so, whenever you define a function, it should be well defined. These two points are same in the projective space, but they are, but one is taking value in one and one other is going to a lambda. So, these T i's are not a good function, they are not functions. That is the first starting point that things go wrong in projective space. That coordinates are no longer functions on projective space. So, you have to take quotient of coordinates or quotient of function of some uh, satisfy some property the degree condition degree of uh, the numerator and denominator should be same and they should be homogeneous. So, we will come to that. So, not all functions on affine space they gives a function on the projective space. So, so but functions like t uh, say um, t j by t i. So, whenever you do t i of course, t i has to be non zero. Hmm. So, they will form a function. on u i. So, if I write, so on on what? So, suppose u i is all the points in p n such that x i is not 0, but this is same as you can identify with all the points in p n such that x i is equal to 1. Because one any non zero you can identify with the coordinate being one right by scaling down uh, by scaling so but then on on the tj now if you consider tj by ti j j j is a, is another another coordinate then this is a function on ui right because if you take lambda 0, 0, 1 lam and this, then when you
right? This is a function tj by ti when you do this, uh, uh, right? So, this, so this can now we will see that these kind of functions will allow. I mean, this is, but you, you see that this tj by ti, this is a homogeneous, tj is a homogeneous. So, we will see both tj and ti, they are homogeneous, they are just monomials here of the linear monomials and the degree of tj and degree of ti's, they are uh, same. So, what we will see that we will allow functions of this form that when I define a regular function on p n, these are they are they looks like f by g, but f and g are homogeneous polynomial and degree of f and degree of g should be same. So, that is how we define regular function. No, the, so, now I will no longer I will define function, uh, I will go to the, the latest definition. I define what is called regular functions on p n. So, that means what are the lo functions locally defined on p n and then I uh, that is my uh, now I define map of projective varieties as exactly similar way. It is a morphism if it takes the regular function to regular function. That is how you should think always that now there is no global uh, global picture will be missing. There is no no longer a function like in F, when you started with affine varieties, we map x is a subset of a n, y is a subset of a n, map is like given by some bunch of polynomials. Now, you sh slowly should forget such definition, because there is no longer holes. So, we have to modify, modify. So, now this is the this is the most workable definition which uh, by which you can do geometry. Yeah. Yeah, scalar mass, scalar, scalar, they get, get cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. So, I did not say anything about topology, but but we what we will see. I'll just give. Uh, I'll just give roughly what I say. This PNs. They are not very, very, uh, 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 this ui's you can identify because xi equal to 1. So, any point in ui looks like x naught, x n minus 1, 1 uh, up to, sorry, not x n minus 1, x, x i minus 1 up to x n, right. And this you can identify with a n. So, this p n you can write it as union of u i, i equal to 0 to n and where each u i is isomorphic to some copy of a n, but there is a identification. So, this p n's are not very far from affine, locally they are all affine space. So, it is gluing of affine space, but globally it is very different. You will see that there are no global function, there are no regular function on a on p n other than constants. Yeah, so to glue together you need to give a isomorphism that is how you do u i and u j you need to give a isomorphism u i and a u j and uh, and then identify the them. You take the union and then you I will come to that how you and that gives you a topology once you there are many ways you can do give a topology on this projective space. Yeah, that is the set, that is the set. No. Then it is not an algebraic variety, you have to show that this is an algebraic variety. You need to mm, see problem with a n plus 1 is that product topology is not the Zariski topology. If you take a1 cross a1 and a2, therefore far the product the topology on a2 is not a1 cross a1. Because if you take a1 cross a1, then the closed subsets will be just points, finitely many points. Because a1, the closed subsets are points. But a2, the, there are curves. So those are missing. So a1 cross a1, the product topology is not the not the not a good topology in the in the Zariski sense. So A2 you cannot recover from A1. 
yeah this topology is not so interesting because after all we want to solve equations of course they are closed subset in a2 if you take there are some finitely many points they will be in a2 because it's union of finite set but they are not so important they are not uh, so um, useful after all, you want to study curves in a2 how will you get it from a1 even they are just they are just points right so, so P n also you will see that this locally it is a gluing of a affine space, but they are far from affine. And this topology on A n induces a top, the topology on P n because top, locally, locally uh, through this isomorphism. But there are different patches, one will be in one A 1 A n, another will be another A n, and then there will be intersection. So, Again, it will be irreducible as a topological space. So, any two open subsets will intersect. And so, we will see how you give a topology on P n coming from the topology on through this gluing technique. Yeah, I will stop here. We will continue in the next class.